Welcome to the show. Welcome to Game of Cubes. <laughs> Shall we start by maybe just talking about what Game of Cubes is? <laughs> It's like a game of horse or a game of skate, like you might know from uh, back in the day or if you've ever played Tony Hawk or if you've ever been a skateboarder or a skate park grom or whatever, you know what this is. Someone calls a trick, you have to do it. If you don't do it, you get a letter. It's like that, but with, with cubing, okay? So one of us calls the scramble, we do it, the other person has to beat it, otherwise the loser gets the letter. But Liam is much, much faster than I am. So I wanted to find a way to sort of level the playing field and make it a bit of a different game rather than just I get this time, you get this time. So what we're actually doing today is we're racing each other but we're not using our times as such, we're using how much better we do than our WCA average. So up in the corner here you'll see um, Liam's, uh, my WCA average is 25.4, that's the best I've done in a comp, which isn't very good, and Liam's is 10.47, which is quite good. So there's not much between Liam globally and his WC average, but there is a little bit between mine because I'm about 22, 23 on a good day. But still, there's more to it than that because what's going to happen is that WC average is not the thing we're battling for the whole game. No, 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 because that WC average is going to come our average to beat, which is the average of how well we're doing combined with that WC average. So that's what's going to happen, okay? We're going to race, we're going to do three sets. Loser is the one who spells cubes first. That's how the game is going to go. 